the Trelonga Endocrine System and how it differs from humans. Hello my disciples, today we'll be going over the Trelonga Endocrine System and how it differs from humans. This video will be rather short, as there is not much to discuss, it will be interesting nonetheless. But before we get into it, if you are interested in the lore of the Trelonga species, we have a Discord linked in the description. Anyway, let's get right into it. Starting with the physical differences, there's not much apart from the presence of a gland type known as the puff glands, which allow the Trelonga to increase and decrease in size when threatened, and the Trelonga have larger kidneys and adrenal glands. Also, for context, the puff glands are further elaborated on in the internal biology comparison video at the 7 minute mark, so if you want more info on them, go there, because I will not be repeating myself. And with that, now we can move on to the functional differences which we're going to list off. Firstly, as mentioned in a previous video, female Trelonga have a similar amount of testosterone to males. This particular trait evolved as a result of predation. By having more muscle mass and being larger, the female has a better chance of fighting off a predator if necessary. Secondly, this one being mentioned in a previous video, when aroused and consenting, both the male and female will release a hormonal steroid which we call the alpha and beta steroids, so I can better explain how this process works. The male will produce alpha steroids in his testicles, the female will produce beta steroids in her ovaries. The blood flow takes these steroids to the main genitalia. Once the two begin to mate, alpha steroids will be absorbed by the female's vagina, and beta steroids will be absorbed by the male's penis. In the female, the alpha steroid will bind the vagina nerves to make them more sensitive. And in the male, the beta steroid will reduce the sensitivity of the penis's nerves and tell the adrenal glands to release some adrenaline, helping the male focus and keep going for longer. And with that explained, now we can move on. Thirdly, when something activates the elements of a Trelonga's protective parental instincts and combat becomes necessary, they will experience a powerful surge of adrenaline, testosterone, and the Trelonga equivalent to cortisol. This burst of hormones and adrenaline sends them into a berserk rage and allows them to access more strength than their brain would normally allow. On a side note, something similar known as hysterical strength has been documented to occur in humans. A perfect example of this being a time a woman lifted the back end of a car on her own to save her youngling after the car crashed onto them. Fourthly, Trelonga have higher levels of testosterone than humans. The average human male's testosterone ranges from 300 to 1000 nanograms per decilitra, most men having around 600-500 nanograms. Average male Trelonga, on the other hand, range from 520 to 1,400 nanograms per decilitre, most of them being around 740 nanograms. And fifthly, Trelonga have a much lower rate of diabetes, both type 1 and 2. This is because of their carnivorous diet, which is naturally low in sugars, meaning their pancreas does not have to overwork just to make the necessary amount of insulin. And with that, we have covered Trelonga endocrinology which brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this shorter video, leave a like, comment, and share. It really helps out. Alright, see you all in the next video.